Uh, welcome back. Uh, we are playing Gold Rush. We are in the hotel. This is Scott, and I'm picking up pretty much where I just left off in playing, uh, and you may have a delay in the uploading or just delay in watching it yourself. So, uh, well, why don't we take a look around the hotel? We don't want to rush things too much. We are getting a bit towards the end of the game. Uh, I think I mentioned before, started to mention before, another video I anticipate, well, I anticipate from then, four to five more videos, I guess now. Uh, three more videos after this, depending on how quickly we move, maybe maybe it'll be four or five. That's not too bad. Uh, I don't. I necessarily don't want to rush things. I don't think there's any reason to. Uh, this is the Green Pasture Hotel. It's about the only place of interest in this little town. You look as you look at the window on the side of the hotel. You notice there are four rooms upstairs. Now I don't fully understand that. Are you just looking in? And seeing the doors, or you're, look, you're looking through all four? I don't know. Whatever it is, oh, I know what it is. You're looking at the windows on the side. If I had a cursor, I'd show you, but pretty much down this way, there are four windows. Well, if there are four windows, there must be four rooms, but one of them's a janitor's closet. And as you can guess, there is some sort of secret, uh, or secret room. And this is pretty much just to tell you that it's not marked, or the door isn't there. So, um,. What we're going to do is we have the message, and we have saved the game, so we should be okay. And I'm just going to open the door. We're going to go into room 11. Okay, well, I'm not going to open the door. I'm going to knock. Give message. The beggar, somewhat surprised that you are bringing him a message, takes it and begins to read it. The man's face drops in some kind of emotion. He says, he looks up from the message and says, I gotta go. You're in my way, man. Alright. So we get into his room. Okay, we don't need to close it. I would if I was breaking somebody's room, but I don't really do that. So, anyway, let's pause first. Okay, I just paused the save. Now, I think we only have so much time to do things here. So, um... Uh, I hope I don't have to pause again on you <laughs> to look something up, but let's let's take a look at at least. Look, it's a clean, tidy hotel room. It has everything a normal hotel room has, and a fireplace. But you never know when the man might return. Look, and I don't know why they call him a beggar. I mean, he has this nice room. I don't know. I guess he just begs enough, and he can afford it. It's a brick fireplace with a decorative cannon on the mantel. Look, cannon. Can looks like the one on the tombstone in Sutter's Fort. However, the wheel on this cannon looks bigger than the one on the tombstone. How we move the cannon? Take cannon. Push cannon. This is how I used to play too. When I played CR games, saying out loud every last thing I'm going to do to the same object. Okay, well, how about we uh, not waste your time, and we'll pause, and I'll be right back with the solution. Okay, we're back. I uh, actually got nailed, I got uh, caught by the guy, and got hung again, so uh, don't spend too much time here. Anyway, we have to turn the wheel, that's why it says the wheel is larger. I guess I should have figured it out. The can wheel is difficult to turn, but as you continue to turn the wheel, you realize as ingeniously designed mechanism is raised... Uh, an ingeniously designed mechanism is raising the back wall in the fireplace. Enter fireplace. You might get covered with soot, but you climb into the fireplace. Okay, we're safe here. Uh, he's not going to come and bag us or anything. Alright, so we've got time to look around and um, look. You're now in the elusive room 12. You see that a wall has been built where the door used to be, creating a small closet. There is also a a table, a fireplace, and a bird ca and bird cage. Now, I'm not sure if it's ever explained why this whole area is blocked off. I mean, why they have a perfectly functional hotel room that's entirely inaccessible. Um, but whatever it is, it is a puzzle in the game. And well, look at object on floor then. Well, it, look at floor. Oh, some string, pardon me, I didn't read, I read that too fast, so take string. Alright, snatch the string. Look, table. 
I hand her a note. Take the magnet. We got the magnet. Open window. Unlatch window. Open window. We open the window. I hope we didn't miss the bird entirely. Well, let's take a look at the note. If I have to restore, I'll pause and restore. You grab the note, eager to see what it might say. Read note. Dear Jared, thanks for coming. If you're looking for gold, find me. You'll make sure no one follows you. Your brother, Jake, alias James William Wilson Marshall. Okay. Open cage. Alright, well I think there's something you need to do with that bird, so I'm going to pause and we'll be right back, hopefully doing the right thing. I'll be, uh, just a second, sorry. Okay, we're back. The bird's in here. We have to put the photograph in... in capsule. You have to capsule on the bird. You carefully roll up the family photo and put it in the capsule. Now the bird just so happens to, uh, open cage. Alright, well the bird's going to fly away, I believe, by his own volition. I might have to pause it again for a second. Um, yeah, so just it just so happens that the bird's flying by at the same time we happen to be here, and we just so happen to know to put our photograph in the capsule. I don't know. Maybe there's some things I missed. Maybe I haven't explored enough just because I'm walking through. I have to say, these are some hard puzzles. Anyway, so he goes, and we have to know to actually hang around <laughs> and get something from the bird. Uh, I would just think, naturally, if I figured all this out myself, uh, that we gave it to Jake would get the photograph and then we would uh, he'd be expecting us or something but no we have to wait for the bird so um, let's see anything interesting I can tell you uh, I got an anecdote or two I'm saving it for some of the parts in later of the game where I have to show you what's going on but also it's kind of slow so I can't think of anything right now and we're getting a little close to the end so how about I pause it we'll f and we'll pick up on the birds back in back in the room